good afternoon students so today uh, we will going to uh, read about uh, the computer the introduction part so uh, what we will going to uh, see here today we will going to uh, read about uh, the uh, different type of the computers uh, that means uh, different computer system uh, so uh, this computer system uh, what are there in the computer system introduction to the computers uh, then we will see about the evolutions of the computer devices we will see about the components of the computer systems uh, we will see how we can do the interconnection of the computer system and uh, the generations and the output so uh, let us see uh, what are there and how we can uh, have it now computer system in this uh, particular computer system what we can see computer system is an electronic device so under this uh, particular device we have an uh, have to control the instruction the storage um, we should store the data and uh, there are the different patterns of memories are there isn't it uh, so memory for storage processing data is there for uh, recording and uh, specifying uh, there are certain rules are there okay so on this particular processing and pro uh, procedures we have an input and output systems uh, where we uh, store the data and where we use the data now what is the data and what is information that is one of the very important thing for us data data means the raw fact suppose if i say you 25 so what do you understand by 25 25 can be the chocolates 25 can be the number 25 can be uh, the weather um, atmosphere uh, water vapor uh, or uh, the humidity conditions whatever it is that means the raw fact uh, which uh, by him, uh, himself what we can find it that um, which uh, by themselves are uh, limited value and information means I am saying that uh, you have scored 25 uh, out of uh, 30 that means I have given you a proper information uh, this is what an information which has some meaningful data now advantages what we can see what are the advantages we can find one is a speed another is an accuracy another is a huge storage then we can see the versatility that means a different type of versatility is there then we can see the tiredness um, that uh, the device uh, does not get tired that means it is a very speed uh, data it can work it accurately it can do the work um, uh, we can find it huge amount of data can be stored here it has a, a lot of versatility okay and tiredness uh, if you give a lot of work to a computer computer never became a tired now a disadvantage factor what we can find from here then so wherever we have an advantage obviously there should be some disadvantage first and foremost uh, the data security issues okay different type of data security issues are there uh, that uh, we have to give the uh, security like uh, quick antivirus or any other antivirus system has to be loaded and all and then uh, computer crimes lot of computer crimes nowadays we can see uh, are been uh, done by the peoples isn't it so uh, computer crime is there after the computer crime what we can find it um, that uh, there are the different type of uh, uh, um, health uh, risk factors are there then bad impact of the environment uh, obviously computer uh, generates lot of radiation lot of ray which are not used that are been dumped in some place so uh, therefore which uh, we we are polluting uh, and destroying our environment isn't it so bad impacts are there in the environment so any digital device uh, that uh, can perform the five functions what it can take the data as an input it can store the data and instructions it has a processing of the data it can generate the output and it can control all the steps that is said as your uh, total device or digital computer that means if you say uh, this is my uh, computer that means it has to perform all these things it has to take the input uh, it has to take the data it has to store the data and instruction it has to process the uh, storage it has to generate the output and control everything computing what is computing means computing means the use of a computer to process the data to perform a calculations computer compute means to calculate the word compute means to calculate that means a device what we can find it can calculate uh, that is state as a computer so um, uh, this is what we say as a computer is now evolutions of the computer we find that computer doesn't came suddenly uh, that from the early age when the people used to stay in a cave from that onwards that was the start because they start the work of calculation so where we can find that is a work of a calculation we can say 
say that is a computer. So, slowly and slowly uh, we get one recognition that is an abacus. What is an abacus? Abacus is known as a first mechanical language device. Why? Because it used to perform the addition and subtraction in very easy and speedy way. So, this is the device what we can say that first developed um, ED uh, by the Egyptian uh, person in the 10th century. BC ok, but uh, it was given a final shape in the 12th century AD of, uh, by the Chinese educationists. Next comes uh, from here a lot of experiments are been uh, uh, taken up and there we can find it and that Nephias, John Nephier. So, uh, John Nephier from Scotland, he has invented one device that is known as a Nephier's bone in the year of 1917. It is called an Ephiar's bone. So, this is used uh, some bones uh, or rods are used for the counting purpose, is not it? So, uh, this is what number of printer, uh, printed rods are there and uh, based on that rod we can do the work of subtraction, multiplication, so all this division very easily. After that we can uh, came in the um, part where we find a Pascal that means Blazy Pascal. He uh, has uh, invented in 1964 uh, uh, Blazy Pascal, he is also a France uh, scientist. He invented an adding machine known as a Pascal calculator or Pascal ions. So, the, from there we can find there are the lot of changes that means we are moving uh, to the world of the electronic phases. So, as we move to the uh, world of the electronic phases then what we can find it uh, that after Pascal. Um, Lebens calculator in 1671, uh, German mathematician uh, Gottfried uh, Lebens, uh, he modified this uh, Pascal calculator and he developed one machine uh, <coughs> that is known as Lebens calculator. Okay. Next what we can find in the year of 1833, the scientist from an England known as a Charles Babbage whom we basically known as a father of uh, modern computer. So, he has discovered, he has find out one machine, first machine uh, of computer. Uh, so, uh, this particular machine is uh, used to store the uh, storing concept is there and uh, designing this is known uh, has this particular working pattern. So, uh, he is known as a what father of modern computer because he has uh, invented one automatic device which can calculate then uh, mark 1 computer mark 1 computer we find it this is uh, how words um, alkaline in the harvard university collaborate with ibm uh, corporates uh, fully uh, automatic machines in uh, 1937 to uh, 1944 uh, this machine was been uh, used uh, to switch is called an release now, uh, next we come to the ENIC. ENIC was an electronic numerical integrator and computer. So, this was developed uh, used uh, vacuum tubes uh, for building in uh, 1943 and, and the second world war time during the time after second world war time in the Pennsylvania University uh, for uh, satisfying the military needs. Okay. Then come the EDSAC, so electronic delay storage uh, automatic calculator. It is a full size storage program uh, which was developed by the University of Cambridge uh, by uh, Markin Wilkins uh, in uh, the form of uh, this is uh, what we can find uh, that uh, this was built according to the von Neumann uh, machine principle. That principle was that Hungarian, um, Hungarian American scientist John von Neumann and like uh, the Manchester Mark 1, uh, this was operated in 1949. Okay. So, uh, then what we can find CDC uh, 6600, this was the supercomputer where we can find that uh, single uh, CPU re uh, released in uh, 1964, uh, this was a huge uh, measure, this was a machine which can do a huge amount of work, is not it, about the size of uh, uh, 4 uh, filling cabinets. Okay. So, it cost about 8 million dollar costing also obviously high is not it and the peak performance is 3 million uh, floating uh, point data that means per second a huge amount of data it can do. Then uh, Param, Param 800 was developed in the year of uh, 1991. Uh, from India. Uh, so, supercomputer Param 8000s, this was uh, Param was a benchmark of an 5 uh, G flop and a second uh, supercomputer of the world. Then uh, Pratush, Pratush in January uh, 2018, Pratush and Mihir, 
the first supercomputer of India that has been uh, done it 6.8 petaflops uh, petaflop so so huge storage is there this uh, this has been done so 439 and uh, 38.9 crores of rupees uh, the machine cost so uh, surely it is not reachable to the people general people spc spc is a smartphone we are using today invented by ibm okay in the year of uh, 1994 we can find it that simon person uh, communicator has done it then iphone iphone we know entered uh, stephen uh, jobs uh, was uh, one was the most influence in this year in the 2007 and uh, this stephen jobs has uh, done this mark one uh, related to the first phones and uh, there we can find the touch phone was there it was uh, 499 dollar 4 gb level and 8 gb level 599 dollar 200 uh, 220 world out uh, finger out that we can find it there are the android mobile phone came in the market google is there uh, for supporting it uh, so we find it the modernized fact is there so see the generations different generation first generation 1944 to 59 it used the vacuum tube second generation we can find uh, that 1959 to 64 it used a transistor then third generation we can find it um, 1964 to 75 uh, it used a large scale integrated circuit fourth generation we can find it uh, the very large scale circuit was there uh, to be used for this particular purpose and fifth um, is under this particular generation we are going on artificial intelligence totally based on the artificial intelligence now we say component what are the component if you require a machine if you want to work with a machine machine uh, requires a different patterns of the components now see here a block diagram has been given for you now if anyone asks you to draw a diagram of a computer this is the diagram you will going to draw okay this is a block diagram of a computer there is an input device then there is a microprocessor unit control unit and arithmetic logic unit then we have a memory unit and the output device so memory uh, microprocessor unit control unit plus arithmetic logic unit and cpu means memory uh, memory uh, program unit memory unit okay so all these sections we can find it that how they are see they are interlinked see the arrows the arrows are interlinked from input unit it comes to the central processing unit there is a control unit arithmetic logic unit and memory unit so here uh, they are going always in a circulated form okay then when it is over from the control unit it came again to the output section so this is what we can see that means input device input devices means what in the entire world we can find there are a lot of input devices are there like our keyboard our mouse all these things output devices like our monitor our printer all these things we can find it so uh, now we come to the next section that is called an central processing unit central processing unit that consisted of an arithmetic logic unit uh, arithmetic logic unit performs the different type of addition subtraction and or operations isn't it so uh, those the and or operations that has been performed by it in the modern days we are more generalizing it we have a register there to store it okay next what we have a control unit control unit means this work in a uh, control in the signature of that particular operations what we are doing next what we can find a memory memory is where we are storing the data different type of data are there so data where suppose your house has got an address isn't it so similarly uh, in that way what we can see that every uh, where we have a certain address where we are storing uh, that has got an address see here this is the address the cell address uh, cell at uh, address this contain the value this this is the address of it see the uh, address is 11111111110 and contain is 10101010 so this is the value that is uh, been stored and this is the address where the value is been stored now oh, i am coming little bit with a, a memory section ram and rom ram means what uh, random access memory memory which uh, is located and can be accessed and changed and rom is what the memory which uh, located can be accessed but not be changed it is uh, ram is a volatile and rom is not a volatile okay so uh, secondary storage there we have a cartridge nowadays we have a pen drive and all secondary storage area isn't it hard disk is there uh, we all in the machines has gotten hard disk how we are working with each of these particular hard disks are there and they are been uh, working with isn't it 
So, this is the things that we can find that we have a pata, pata means parallel advanced technology attachments, uh, SATA, SATA means CDL advanced technology attachment, then uh, SCSI means small computer uh, system interface, then SSD, SSD means solid stated drive, there is a uh, 12 TB size HDD uh, is available in the market. Now, uh, input devices, uh, I do not think I need to uh, say details about them because you know them like keyboard. Keyboard is a one device where we uh, can send the data by pressing there are the different pattern or type of keys are there. Now, next what we have a mouse. Mouse is a GUI interface uh, that means graphical user interface. We can select the uh, things, we can use the things. Next what we have a scanner. Scanner is also one pattern of input device which scan the documents and give the documents inside it. OMR sheet, OMR means optical mark reader. This is also used for uh, document uh, for uh, sending the data and information. OCR, optical character reader. In a bank book you see that black color of uh, marks is there or when you purchase nowadays the product you can see that OCR. MICR, magnetic ink character reader is there that uh, you can see that the uh, black color of bold lines is there. So, magnetic ink character reader is there. Microphone, we are using the microphone, La, uh, camera, we uh, use the different type of camera. Now, graphic tablets, we are using the different type of graphical tablets, then uh, uh, trackball, especially uh, one pattern of mouse used for playing that when we play the games, is not it? Uh, barcode reader, the barcode that we have, uh, that barcode reader machine, you can go to the different type of shopping complex, you can find, they are scanning the barcodes, is not it? Gamepad is there and joysticks is there. So, this is what we can find an output device, specially we can see the through which the output is given to us, first and foremost very common thing that is a monitor. Monitor has got a responsibility, different type of um, devices are there. We can see from here uh, the particular monitor is. Next, what we can see the speaker. Speaker is a microphone. Uh, that uh, give you the output also, isn't it? And projector, we use the projector to show the things and explain the things. So, this is how what we can see uh, that we have and we can find some of the device uh, which receive the data also and which give out the data also. That means it work as a both the input and output device. What are they? They are the USB drive. USB drive uh, that we can find, it can use uh, for this particular purpose, flash drive. Face email. Face email means fax and machine that uh, come as an input and you can send it as an output also. Modem. Modem is also taking the input uh, from the outer uh, different machines and it is uh, accumulating it. Modem means uh, and then it uh, will uh, compile the work, give it to the machine. Again after that the machine return it back that will return back to the different area. CD uh, writers, DVD writer, nowadays we are not using this, but before, uh, before of that it was been used. Then a uh, touch screen, touch screen is what, it is also an input as well as output device, headset that we use the headset now, headset is used uh, to talking purpose also and uh, to listening purpose also. So, these are the things that we can find that we have all those devices are there and when we have all those devices, we are working with those devices, we find it that how the data are being inputted and there are the uh, those different type of devices which work as input device as well as output device and we can make them uh, to be constructed constructed for the different work. So, this is what our first section of the computer system that we do have a computer system, how we are working on this particular computer system and how we are uh, making this uh, particular computer system to be workable and to be implementable in our daily life. We have read about the different generations, we have seen uh, how the different machines are being invented, how uh, what are the different pattern of machines of the different generations that we can use and we can implement. So, uh, those the things that we can see, those the part that we can find uh, that we have uh, the devices and we are working on these devices. So, thank you students, today I am ending my today's session here. Thank you all very much.